Hello. Uh, the uh, new moon, full moon, excuse me, coming um, this uh, uh, on the 15th, the 16th in some places. Here in San Francisco, it's Saturday, October 15th at 9.23 p.m. Uh, so that means on the East Coast, it's three hours earlier, so that's already on the 16th, the night of the, the morning, early morning hours of the 16th. Um, this is a really wild full moon, and we and right in the middle of a really wild series of aspects. Even though, generally speaking, the really uh, grippingly difficult aspects that we've been dealing with for the past uh, four months, five months, and actually really on past that, the um, mostly which is due to uh, Saturn and uh, Neptune in a difficult aspect to each other, a square. That is waning, but it is still in place. It's not entirely gone. So although we feel some lightening from that waning aspect and some lightening from, generally speaking, Jupiter entering Libra, which uh, brings a more peaceful, sociable, enjoyable energy into the picture, it gets complicated. It gets very complicated. And in all honesty, uh, this full moon has a lot uh, has a, has a lot of a lot of pretty wild stuff going on. Uh, we have, um, and we're right in the middle of a series of um, explosive aspects, really. You can see this in what's happening in the world. You can see this with Hurricane Matthew. Uh, it is, these are the kinds of like destructive, explosive aspects and also really nasty aspects. So uh, the kinds of things that are like happening in the United States with the presidential election, like the last presidential debate, which just seemed like, you know, uh, a mud fest or, and the, the kind of scorched earth approach that um, one of the candidates in particular is taking in uh, also is, is, is very much indicative of the kind of um, bullying, abusive, violent, aggressive uh, energy that is uh, an, an unpredictable energy that is uh, current right now. It also, uh, the, because also Pluto and Mars are involved, because Pluto is involved in particular, the notion of, well, you know, the sex tape, the what's been hidden, especially something that's kind of like, you know, dirty or unacceptable or, you know, uh, really the underbelly of the beast coming out. Uh, these kinds of, um, or, or lies or, or, you know, any, any kind of, um, anything that people tend to try to hide tends to be brought out in a most, you know, violent, unpleasant way, or most um, violent isn't always the case. But it is, there are some pretty, pretty destructive aspects. Uh, we have, and Jupiter, although Jupiter is generally a good thing right now, it is in a position where it just makes everything bigger. Uh, Jupiter is in opposition to um, Uranus, and it is square Mars and Pluto. Saturn is still somewhat square, Neptune, and um, Mercury is conjunct Jupiter, which is what makes all of the um, kind of aggressive speech that we've been hearing, uh, especially between two people who should be speaking in a more uh, li uh, Libra-like, balanced, um, you know, th talking about law uh, and fairness, but the opposition to the moon uh, those who are close to the sun also so that and so the sun and the moon opposite each other is what makes it a full moon so the moon is right next to uh uranus which also makes everybody's emotions predictable and um uh unpredictable excuse me and um you know potentially um dramatic uh, flying off the handle that kind of thing so where one should be getting along, there can be a sudden like, that's not okay with me, uh, flying off the handle, and it can become really nasty, really aggressive because of the square to Pluto and Mars, um, and even, you know, violent or abusive, menacing. Um, again, this also has some, this, these are very... Uh, 
societal aspects that are happening. They involve the outer planets. So th then there's also some ramifications in terms of things like the weather. So things like Hurricane Matthew, uh, there could be other kinds of uh, weather um, issues like that. And um, it also uh, has some, you know, one needs to be careful about things like terrorism, terrorist attacks, and also even the kind of um, the kind of high emotions that one sees, ra sees raised by, here in the United States, the political events leading to, there's a potential for that to lead to um, ugly, potentially violent situations. It doesn't take much of a stretch of the imagination to see that kind of thing happening, and it is very well shown astrologically. Uh, on a personal level, um, one thing that is definitely happening is the movement into Libra, in many sense, is is a good thing, and it can also lead to a lot of social engagement, a lot of pleasant, enjoyable social encounters. However, due to the difficult aspects, there can be too much of it. Uh, it can be coming out of the corners everywhere, and it can be difficult to distinguish what's really important with what's really not. Everything can seem to have a kind of like, you know, equal weight, whether it's equally unimportant, so how do you decide which to do are equally important. And there can definitely be a tendency to lead towards exhaustion or, you know, if you keep pushing, accidents, things like that. It's definitely a time where there's a powerful lesson that one needs to cultivate patience and the, uh, the awareness of the, um, the positive value sometimes of doing nothing. That sometimes the strongest action one can take is, you know, to just be, to stop doing. Um, it's very difficult to do. And in fact, when you embrace the notion that there's nothing that has to be done, no engagement that has to be made, none of this has to happen, then it can free you for understanding what really matters. But you have to be able to go with a more um, off-the-cuff approach. Plans may not work out as, uh, you know, as planned, um, but the tendency to push towards all of the many kinds of engagements and events that um, that the Jupiter and Libra can bring on can really lead to um, you know I mean oh, being exhausted and overwhelmed. It's it's uh, there, there's a lot on people's plates these days. In our society, there's a lot on people's plates all the time, but uh, in this particular time, there would also be some nice things coming onto people's plates, so it can be a little bit of a drag to have those start to feel like a burden as well. Uh, it's very important to develop uh, the ability to just kind of like step back and um, let some of it just flow over you, or, you know, there's a good chance you'll get sick, as many people around me are doing. Um, so that's one thing on a personal level. On, a, on another personal level, there can be, uh, there, I mean, there's a kind, there, that kind of exhaustion is definitely something that's there in the picture, no matter what. Uh, there can be a tendency towards accidents um, that f fits in with what I was just saying, and um, it also fits in with the idea with, you know, like the kind of weather disturbances, the kind of like violence and unpredictable activity. Um, and <clears throat> there, I mean, that's the one thing that I've actually seen most, more than anything else. But, you know, there's certainly the possibility for, um, you know, on the kind of dis uh, eruptions or of unpleasant per personal encounters, especially if there's been anything brewing that, um, uh, or some sort of hidden information, there's definitely the possibility for that kind of hidden information to come up. Um, in an unpleasant way. On the more positive note, other kinds of hidden information like or like promises that have been made or things like that, things that may have been sort of buried, um, there's much more of a tendency towards those being honored right now because of um, the uh, some of the other aspects, some the, the, the uh, you know, the position of Saturn in relationship to Libra, so especially in interpersonal, contracts or agreements, provided that there is no um, hidden agenda that hasn't been revealed. 
uh, th there are positive aspects and there are certain signs who may feel that they're not really encountering everything as badly as I'm talking, as badly as I'm saying. Uh, I would say of those Aquarius, Taurus, and Leo, the fixed, three of the fixed signs except for um, Scorpio, uh, they probably are doing fairly well. And Scorpio too could be doing, doing okay too. Uh, the, the, the planets that the the cardinal signs, Capricorn, Cancer, Aries, and Libra, they're definitely caught up in, uh, in, in the kind of, um, the, this kind of energy. And the mutable signs, Gemini, um, uh, Virgo, Pisces, and Sagittarius, <clears throat> they continue to have certain issues with the Saturn, Neptune energy. Um, but that said, it really depends upon where you are in the sign, just how much you feel it. If you're uh, an early Capricorn or late Sagittarius, that means your birthday's just before Christmas, um, things could be fine for you, even good. Uh, and if you are, um, you know, an early Aries, similarly, could also be doing fine. Um, so it, it it's it's hard to there there's definitely certain signs and certain positions that would be getting this full on, um, but uh, um, all of us would feel the would definitely be aware of this kind of you know heightened um, you know unpleasant vaguely um, ominous sense in in um, in the um, in the dynamic, in the um, because of the geocosmic signature, <laughs> and uh, and the sense of exhaustion too from from dealing with it and the need to step back uh, is also very much in place. Again, Jupiter and Libra does have some really positive things going for it. Uh, not only the social part, but the um, you know the the push for justice and for fairness. So the more we can um, tap into that, the better off we all are. Uh, the, the kind of heightened aspects do continue on to the new moon, although they're in, in a different way. Um, for the most part, this is, a, um, th this is sort of the peak time appropriately for a full moon. Um, and uh, after we get past this next new moon, as we move, uh, the, the positive aspects start to um, develop more and more, um, uh, more and more weight. They become more and more, um, the dominant energy as we move towards the end of the year. So even as we get towards the end of this month, the end of October, and then into November, while some of the leftover exhaustion and there's some other energies as well, certainly there's a shift that is in process that is positive and, uh, that we should start seeing more and more. So, um, as they say in All About Eve, uh, hold on to, what do they say? Hold on to your, buckle your seatbelts, it's gonna be a bumpy ride. That pretty much says it. Uh, and uh, do nice things with friends that are relaxing and quiet when you need to be. All right, uh, enjoy the, uh, the ride and I will see you soon. Bye.